Well, big news from BlackBerry this morning. Haley Wooden with Business in Vancouver is joining us now, and they are unveiling something called BlackBerry Secure. Tell us more. That's right. So over the last three years, BlackBerry has made a number of acquisitions of companies that specialize in software related to sort of workflow management and security. BlackBerry announced this week that it's rolling all of those acquisitions into one platform called BlackBerry Secure. It hopes that this will be sort of a one-stop shop for companies looking to really share content across devices, across apps in a secure manner. BlackBerry also says it can help guard against potential hacks or leaks of information, something really important in this day and age in particular for companies. Now, BlackBerry is calling this the enterprise of things. You may have heard of the Internet of Things, connecting devices to the Internet. BlackBerry aims to connect all devices, all apps, and have those be managed from one secure platform. It will be able to integrate with existing BlackBerry products as well as third-party products too. All right, and Haley, a, a big move from McDonald's. Uh, they are moving their international tax base from the EU to the UK. Why are they doing this? The short answer is to save potentially a lot of money. Next year, the UK will be lowering its corporate tax rate to 19% from 20%. Now, look at this from a different angle. McDonald's and Luxembourg have come under fire over the last several years. Luxembourg is where McDonald's previous tax base has been held. And according to the European Commission, they're charging that McDonald's has not paid its fair share of taxes and that Luxembourg has offered sort of sweetheart deals to the multinational company. So the new holding company in the UK will be responsible for McDonald's international taxes. About two thirds of its revenue around the world happen outside of the US. So it really could be seeing mm. significant savings there. All right, Haley, thanks for the update this morning.